Hey, does anyone remember that I mentioned Emma Blackery as my favorite girl YouTuber back in 2015? Well, she still is my favorite girl YouTuber to this day. So you may be asking, Thunder, how the f*** is Emma Blackery still your favorite girl YouTuber after two more years of YouTube and all the YouTubers that have came and went? Well, to put it simple, she's just really entertaining. Emma Blackery makes comedy sketches, music, she also does live streams, and many more videos on her channel. I'll admit, I found out about her channel through Nerdkeep, but regardless if the majority of our audience likes her channel because of Nerdkeep cameos, I find the content she makes on her own really entertaining to watch. Her humor in her videos is really entertaining and very funny, and throughout her span of making videos, there's hardly any of them that disappoint me. Heck, she even does the best to interact with her viewers by making live streams on her YouTube as you don't see many people with millions of subscribers who interact with their viewers, or if anything, talk to their viewers. Thunder, you're one to talk. You don't even interact with anyone on YouTube, you f tard. You're right, I don't. Dang, I'm a horrible person. How could this happen to me? I made my mistakes. Got nowhere to run. The night goes on as I'm fading away. Considering she produces both sketches, music, vlogs, and has a second channel in which she talks about her stuff, let's scramble through each and every of her types of videos. Her sketches are usually funny and entertaining to watch. To sum it up, this was another one of the reasons I ended up subscribing to her. She just fit the humor I liked and she always never failed to disappoint when she produces these videos. Knock knock, who's there? It's me, the OG! The one that made you famous because of my comedy! For Fifty Shades of Grey to the philosopher's butt! You're a comedian, bitch! Stop being something that you're not! Look at all our most viewed, where's your songs in- I've actually not listened to her music much up until now. From a first impression, I can tell that she's really trying. Her music's alright, it's not my favorite to listen to, but I can tell that from her passion and the work she puts into her music, she's giving everything she can. To break your hold on me, but we still talk every day. Don't we? She actually used to do vlogs, believe it or not. She used to compile hours worth of what happens in our daily life, and while I wouldn't be able to watch the full video considering how each and every video was about an hour long, you'd always have plenty of video to go through. One thing I will say that she doesn't do in her vlogs as much is the clickbait. Yes, she made clickbait in her other videos, but it's more common to clickbait in vlogs. You'll see vlogs like, I bought my first house, not clickbait. Wait, what the f I bought my first house, Wait, what? Emma's vlogs aren't like that. If anything, if she was just doing vlogs like someone like Lance Stewart, she probably wouldn't survive so long. Actually, speaking of vlogs, she has another channel called Vloggery where she rambles and talks about stuff that interests her. I don't really check on this channel too much, but I will say that if you do like her content and you want more in your daily routine, then check this channel out as she will provide you with more videos more frequently. In conclusion, Emma Blackberry will always be my favorite girl YouTuber for a long time to come. I mean, it will be hard for her to be my favorite YouTuber overall, but hey, she's quite up high up on my list. While she may have been plateauing with her subscriber count, always find her entertaining no matter what her subscriber count is.